Today I am going to be installing a microwave. I got this microwave from the property manager close to three weeks ago and it's been in my garage until I had some extra time. And today is kind of a weather day on the soffit and fascia. It's supposed to start raining and snowing here any minute. Um, I decided to bring uh, Polly with me and I was just pulling up here. I remembered that I was working on this house two years ago when I got her. And she came to work with me and was actually in the house as a little puppy hanging out in the basement as I was building a bathroom. Which is kind of weird. So she's going to hang out in the truck. Hopefully, there's always a hopefully. This doesn't take very long. Am I on time? I'm one minute late. It's a rental. Now there's nothing really wrong with this microwave. The previous tenants had broke the handle off and had glued it in place before they moved out. When the new tenants got there, they went to pull the microwave open and pulled the handle right off with it. So the only reason I'm replacing this is because the handle is broken off. It's still perfectly functional. Now you need to keep in mind that the property manager did not want to repair the microwave. That's why they brought me a brand new microwave to install when I had the time. The property manager also did not ask me to or pay me to repair the cabinet that kind of been hacked apart or redo any duct work. It was a simple remove and replace and that's it. Get in. Do the work as fast as you can and get out. What you're looking at here is the old bracket that was holding up the old microwave. You can see that it's barely held up with any screws. I did replace this bracket with the bracket that came with the new microwave and used the supplied lag bolts. I used all those little holes there that you see to find the stud and get an actual lag bolt in the studs. The range that you're looking at right now is completely flat on the floor and it is not adjusted. You can see how unlevel the floor is. The house slants three to four inches from the center line to its outside edge. So what I'm doing here is measuring where the bolt holes have to be drilled into the cabinet that this microwave is going to be hanging from. What are you doing in my seat? So just hop back in the truck here for a minute to change the GoPro battery. And I got a call from the, or an actual text message from the property manager uh, asking if I could drain the, the vacuum breaker on the sprinkler system since it's supposed to snow here. Actually, I just saw a few flurries already. Um, so that's another way for me to make a quick 50 bucks. It'll probably take me five to 10 minutes at the most that's just because i have to look for the stuff um, but i'm going to try to take you in and just show you that quick job um, maybe i don't think it's significant enough to make its own video i may do a separate video on a different house on how to winterize sprinkler systems Now 
I just opened this up, and of course my camera wasn't rolling. At least I don't think it was rolling. Drained the, drained the water out of this uh, bleeder there. This one here has a little bit of water dripping out of it. But I'm going to go back inside at the shutoff and um, uncap a, a little bleeder screw and drain water out of here just enough so that it goes back down into the house and since this is a vacuum breaker it won't siphon back down You're in my spot. Whew. It is freezing. Well, that's how you install a microwave and pick up an extra 50 bucks winterizing or half winterizing a sprinkler system. Like I was saying earlier, um, they're going to need to get all the lines blown out. And a landscaping company usually has a, a trailer that has a huge air compressor that they they run up to those, but couldn't get on the schedule I guess and they just needed me to get the water out of that vacuum breaker time to go home whoa if you have any questions leave them down below in the comment section and if you want to see more videos like this make sure you are subscribed to the channel and also if you like that tool vest um, there'll be a link right here in your screen on the review that I did and how to get it.